With mankind making advancements in space technology and a trip to Mars in our near future, scientists need to take into account that journeys through space aren't always easy. From having to eat some weird things to insomnia, here are 13 strange things that happen when you go to outer space. Number 13, you get taller. Have you ever wished you could be just a little bit taller? Well, it turns out that people are naturally taller without gravity pushing down on us all the time. Gravity is really what's keeping us down, folks. Astronauts have reported growing 3% their own body height in a zero gravity environment. So let's say you're about six foot one inches tall. You would grow about two inches. It turns out that your spine freely expands in outer space, which wouldn't typically happen. Astronauts will return the same height once they go back to Earth. It's been studied before using ultrasound to get a better idea why exactly this happens. Number 12, chicken legs. We've all seen them before at the gym. There are people out there who ill-advisedly skip leg day, thus resulting in skinny legs, resembling those of a chicken. Since there's no gravity around, working out your legs gets even more difficult than before, and this results in reduced muscle mass in your legs. Since blood flows through our legs as soon as we stand, there is continual exercise that ends up happening. What happens, though, when the bare minimum of work on your legs takes place? More bodily fluids will disperse throughout the body, especially to the head and upper body. This means less blood to the legs. In space, you just have to float around from one location to another, so this is really a lazy person's paradise. Some astronauts have reported feeling too weak to even stand once they came back to Earth. Number 11, insomnia. If you thought about being an astronaut, you might want to keep in mind that getting some shut-eye isn't always easy. First of all, astronauts in orbit typically have to deal with a sunrise every 90 minutes, which will tend to wake up the passengers. Second of all, they must make sure that they are properly strapped into their sleeping apparatus to keep them from floating around all over the place. Their arms and head tend to be what floats around the most at night. It would almost be like sleeping in a straitjacket, but with less gravity. Velcro is relied upon to secure the occupant, but it's not as always easy as it looks. One space explorer talked about how they would wake up and see an arm floating around in front of them. Later on, they would realize that, oh yeah, that's my arm. Number 10, eat weird things. Astronaut ice cream requires absolutely no refrigeration and is basically a slab of ready to eat dehydrated ice cream. This food was made to survive long journeys into space and it's lightweight, making it a good option. The Neapolitan flavor is one of the best options. However, the lack of nutritional value doesn't make it the best thing to stock up on, and you should really only be eating this on special occasions. Many have reported it being a little bit too difficult to chew in outer space, and have preferred to eat things such as applesauce. Without gravity, spoons are basically useless. Certain measures are made to the packaging to make it easier. An astronaut by the name of John Young wasn't too fond of all the freeze-dried food that they normally would take to space and decided to smuggle in his own food. Story has it that Young randomly pulled out a sandwich. His partner asked him what the heck it was, and he just simply responded, a corned beef sandwich. This was then heard on the radio and went back down to Houston. Astronauts might rarely get to enjoy some food that they had back on planet Earth, but it certainly won't taste the same. They've claimed that chocolate just kind of tastes like eating a bar of wax. Oh yeah, and there's no refrigeration on board. Number 9. Immune System Under Distress Although some scientists might not totally admit it, many forms of bacteria can survive just fine in outer space. Some can even multiply quicker and become stronger than you can even imagine. In fact, salmonella becomes much more toxic than on Earth. This is the leading cause of food poisoning, an experiment was done to see what would happen if an astronaut were exposed to it while on the job, and the results were frightening. Mice infected with a space-grown salmonella perished at a 28% quicker pace than the ones on Earth. The bacteria seem to reproduce at twice the rate as well. It's easy to see why our immune system would have difficulty here, and the bizarre environment to humans doesn't make it much easier. Studies show that astronauts' immune systems were quickly compromised, and something like the flu could be deadly to everyone on board. Measures are made to ingest more vitamin C, and they'll hope for the best. Number 8. Hygiene will plummet. We probably take our fancy bathrooms with running water and toilet paper for granted in the U.S. The act of using the restroom is so much easier with gravity, as you can probably imagine why. Ever wonder how people in outer space go to the bathroom without making a complete mess from there being no gravity? Luckily, they don't have to resort to using diapers. But how would they even keep the water in the bowl? 
This photo shows the state-of-the-art space bathroom that NASA designed, complete with harnesses and pumps, to create a sanitary bathroom for astronauts. Keeping the toilet airtight is key, so a tight airspace between the user and the toilet is needed for this to work. Foot straps keep the person on the john, and the suction pipes take care of the rest of the work. In case you were wondering, that's just how it goes down. Number 7. Puffy Face Syndrome A lot of strange things happen when you're in space for too long. Without the force of gravity to help pull fluids downwards, the legs don't really need as much blood as they usually would. The fluids will then drift upwards and into the upper body and face. Not only could this cause some dizziness, a headache, but also their heads can swell up. Could this possibly be why aliens have been described as having such large heads? Anyways, the excess fluids to the head eventually get expelled from your nation and the headache goes away. But it takes a lot longer for it to go back to normal. Future designs of spacesuits are being created, which are supposed to help blood be more properly distributed through the body. Number 6. You might lose your lunch. If you thought motion sickness was bad down on planet Earth, imagine thrusting into Earth's atmosphere at a rate of 0 to 18,000 miles per hour in 16 minutes. That's got to be a little bit upsetting to the stomach. Many astronauts claim that they won't even bother trying to eat right before they take off because they know it'll probably come right back up. In the age of space tourism, where civilians get the chance to be an astronaut for a hefty price, this has become a serious issue. Many companies would like to train their clients about how to handle themselves before the flight. You really don't want to be this guy here in the photo who's clearly a lightweight and can't handle his g-forces. Number 5. Partial Blindness Humans have really only ventured off into space for the past 50 years or so, and it would take some time before we can fully realize all the effects that this type of travel has on us. Recent research would indicate that partial blindness can occur during longer periods out in the final frontier. Those astronauts tend to have a higher volume of spinal fluid compared to those who aren't floating around too long. This is typically a fluid that will help you out in the long run, but too much of it will cause some problems. During times of minimized gravity, the spinal fluid will build up around the eyes and disturb the optic nerves which connect your eyes to the brain. The first side effects are noticed in the retina where the shape is altered. Then the optic nerve gets inflamed which actually will cause the eye to wrinkle. Some real cases of this have been reported back to NASA from astronauts who have spent more than six months in space. Their vision never fully recovered either. This isn't the only sense that is affected. Number 4. Taste in Space During the 1960s missions to space, astronauts realized rather quickly that they couldn't quite taste as good as they had back on the third rock from the sun. Eating certainly helps boost morale, and being well-fed during important missions is crucial. Why does this happen? Again, since the fluids in our body aren't properly distributed and shifting more often, when their face begins to get puffy, it blocks their nasal passages and reduces their sense of smell too. We've all tried eating things when our nose is stuffy, and it doesn't always work out. Even after this wears off a little bit, astronauts still tend to request larger amounts of hot sauce or other condiments to their food because it doesn't just quite taste right. Number 3. You Can't Cry Are you starting to feel a little bit sad because you're so far away from Earth? Well, too bad, you can't. Even though your eyes are still capable of producing tears, no one is going to see that tear drop in space because there's still no gravity. Tears will come in the form of a ball of fluid around your eye until you wipe it out. Sad story, but true. Number 2. Coordination is gone. You might be slightly uncoordinated on Earth, but you could do just fine in outer space with no gravity. The only problem is that you go without using the part of your mind that controls coordination for so long. Walking on Earth again will probably become a problem. Readjusting to life as an Earthling is no easy task, and you no longer just get to float around everywhere you want to go. It might also be easy to forget that anything you place down for just a second is going to float right back up and probably all over the space shuttle. Many astronauts report feeling just fine during the mission, but the trip back home is always rough. Your inner ear, which keeps you well balanced, is essentially shut off. It needs to be reminded how to balance your body again once it's back on Earth. Your mind must relearn what it's like to live in a world with gravity. And number one, you might see aliens. The government agency who could know the most about alien life would of course be NASA. They're always out in space and they have to be a little bit extra cautious about releasing the truth to the public because some people just wouldn't be able to handle it. Even Buzz Aldrin, one of our most famous space astronauts, has claimed to see some mysterious orbs of light following them outside their spaceship. He claims to have seen a suspicious object and it appeared to be following their spacecraft for three days. 
He stated that it was clearly not a rocket booster and didn't want to tell Command back in Houston because he was worried they would tell him to turn back. There's most likely more that he's not willing to admit just yet.